Hey guys, welcome back to Monoview. Today, I'm just gonna be going over how to use two separate monitors on your 32 channel NVR. So our four, eight, and 16 channel NVR models, they are only going to be equipped with one HDMI output. So for those, you guys will be able to use what's called an HDMI splitter. This will divide your connection multiple ways so you can do multiple monitors. However, keep in mind that it is only going to be able to mirror the main image on the main monitor, which means that all of your monitors on the HDMI splitter will effectively show the same image. However, the 32 channel NVR has two HDMI outputs, so that is going to enable you to separate the images and be able to put different cameras on your second monitor than what's on your first. So the first step in this process is going to activate your second monitor. Most likely, once you get everything hooked up, you're going to see an error code that's gonna say decode not enabled. And that's gonna be splashed across the main screen just like this. So what this means is you just need to activate the second screen. And to do this, you'll wanna to go to the main menu of your NVR. Then you'll want to select the second page, most likely the display option is found on the second page. So if you see this little white circle down just above storage, and that indicates your second page. So just left click on that and you'll see it navigate over there. So then you'll wanna choose display. And then on our display options, we wanna find the option for second screen. Once you see this, uh, go ahead and check the little square, put the blue check mark in there. And then of course, don't forget to hit apply at the bottom right corner. Now, as soon as you hit apply, you should see your second monitor come up with whichever cameras that it's initially going to do. All right, guys, for the final step here, we want to go back to the live view. This is where we can see all of your cameras. And we're going to right click. And from this little menu, we're going to choose sub port. It's here at the very bottom. And what sub port does is it brings all of the cameras from your second monitor to your main monitor so that you can arrange them how you want them to be visible on your second screen. So here you're gonna have a little bit less freedom as to how you can have your screens appear. And by that, I mean that you will not have custom split or sequence as an option for your second monitor. This means that your cameras are going to be set to their channel designation. So if you choose cameras one through four, that will be cameras D1, D2, D3, and D4. It's possible that you might have to rearrange some of your ports or your cameras so that you could make the exact cameras you want to appear on your second monitor happen. So again, no custom split and no sequence will be allowed for the second monitor. So here you're gonna have, obviously you can choose one camera, you can choose to view four of them, eight of them, nine or 16 cameras on your second monitor. Okay, so once you have that second screen looking the way you want it to, go ahead and right click and choose main port and that's going to send those camera layouts to your second monitor. And it should look like just how you set it up. So at this point, uh, you guys can rearrange your main monitor if that's what you wanna do, but you guys should be all done and your second screen should be active and looking like it should. Okay guys, now once you've chosen the main port and everything looks correct on your second screen and then everything looks good on your main screen, you guys are all set here and you're done. If you guys had any issues following along this video or if your NVR is giving you any kind of trouble, of course, you can give our tech support a call and we can walk you through this personally. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, check out our other stuff on our YouTube channel for more how-tos. And as always, thank you for joining Monteview and you guys have a good day.